catch. Yeah, sure. You catch it. Push. Let's get up there. Oh, he heavy. Oh, yeah. Oh. Let's go. Hey, look. Kang Ho! Why is he back? I just hope he's changed his ways. Hey, that way. Mm. La 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 Ooh. Well, look who's back then. Tell me, when did you get here? You are... <laughs> Mr. King, don't say that you've forgotten me. I'm Sa Chai of the Yon House. One time you often came to us and asked for me. Because you liked me. Oh! <laughs> You were the girl with the inventive ideas on lovemaking. <laughs> <laughs> I must admit, <laughs> I should remember. Well, now, the way you're looking, since you've been away, it seems you've done quite well for yourself and made a bit of money. <laughs> Just a bit. <laughs> and why have you come back? Oh, home is home. Although, I've done all right. Still, though, I never forgot my hometown. <laughs> so then, I'm thinking of setting up a business here. Uh, in that case, maybe we can see some more of you. Oh? <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, that was a good catch. Mm. Looks like a man. Listen, you stay here. <laughs> He's awake. Hmm? <coughs> hey, don't move. <sighs> Those wounds you have, they're not healed. Where is this? How did I get here? Where is this place? It's our home. Why don't you ask who we are? All right. Hmm. Well, that's better. Hmm. I'm Weiwei. This is my sister, Yi Yi. So then, I survived. Of course. Aren't you alive? But you'd have drowned if she hadn't saved you. Weiwei, that's enough. <laughs> so then, you saved me. Thank you. Just forget that. You get some more rest. Mr. Chan, Kang Ho, he's back. Hmm? What's that? Ah. 
I'm a sailor. Got no family. For years, I've had no home. Just wandered around with no plans. I like the sea. Something about it. But it's dangerous. Like this time. Our boat just sank. Mr. Chang. Hmm? Mm. Thank you. What will you do now? <laughs> no idea. I guess I'll move on. Go somewhere. I'll try to find a job. What else can I do? Tell you what. If you would like to, you stay here a while. But I couldn't. Couldn't impose. Huh. A gentleman. Who'd have guessed? If you're worried about not paying for your keep, you could help out. There's lots of ways. I mean, wash clothes, cook food, chop wood. Hmm. Let's see. Hey, wait, wait. Look, he asked for it. You heard him. You offered to try and help him out. And he gets all formal. I didn't mean to. I just meant... Just answer straight. You want to stay or not? Wait, wait. She's just pulling her leg. But still, she does mean well. Well then, if you really don't mind, I'd be delighted to stay here. <laughs> Mr. Chen, I'm back. What do you want? <laughs> it's been two years. I just thought I'd see how you were. Mm, well, I'm flattered. Mr. Chen, brought you a gift. There's no need. Better keep it yourself. Ah, uh, I'm just trying to be pleasant. Well, I'm a very busy man. <sighs> I know. I behaved badly once. But that's in the past. I've changed since then. I worked and I've got a bit of money. I'm happy for you. Please leave. Uh, well, in fact, I came to talk business. Well, I'm an honest man. And crime doesn't interest me. <laughs> well, you see, I wanted to buy your place here. What? Buy my factory? You're mad! <laughs> Whatever your asking price is, I can pay it. You get out! Get out! <laughs> now listen. Get out! Or I'll have my men throw you out! <laughs> right. But remember, I did try to be polite. Right. <laughs> Let's get back. <laughs> what do you men want here? Oh, why nothing. I just wanted to see the beautiful sisters. We don't want to see you, you little creep. We've lots of things to do. Please leave. Huh? Huh? Leave you? <laughs> but we've only just arrived. Just get out. Ah, that isn't very polite now. <laughs> I must say, you two are the best looking couple of girls in this whole town. And any fella who wouldn't fancy either of you two <laughs> would have to be crazy. Come, let's go. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> You're not going anywhere now. At least not yet. <laughs> Let him out! You there. Who are you talking to? You. Hmm? To me, huh? Huh. Well, now, just who do you think you are? You let him go now, or you'll be sorry. Oh. Now I know. You're the fellow who's living out these two girls. Get 
you. Uh, Just you wait. Let's go. Yeah, yeah let's, let's go. go. Hey, boss. The old man, he really is stubborn. He can be as stubborn as he likes. But in the end, he'll lose. What'll you do, then? Hmm. When negotiations fail, then it's time to try force. <laughs> of course I'll help. I'll be pleased to give him a job. He can start with us tomorrow. Oh, thank you, Uncle Chen. Ah, it's nothing. Before your father died, we were just as close as brothers. So when you've a problem, then you come and see me. Well, thank you. I'll go now. Right. Tell him to come tomorrow, huh? <laughs> now, you guess who this is. <laughs> For changing your voice. Can't fool me. You are... Chang Chi. Huh. And who is this Chang Chi? Huh? It's you. Huh. How are you? You didn't expect to see me again. Huh. I never even thought of you. Sorry. I've got a lot to do. Hey. Hee <laughs> hee. I just want a little tog. <laughs> Kilo, now I'm warning you. Let me go, or I'll yell. All right. Huh. <laughs> you wait. One of these days, you'll do just what I tell you. find the work here isn't difficult. And if you have any problems, then just come and ask me. It's very nice of you to offer. Not at all. We're all friends. I'll introduce you to the foreman now. Miss Hello? Mm -hmm. What is it? Uh, Mr. Lowe, uh, this man's a new worker. Hello there. <laughs> well, my friend. And so we meet again, huh? Well, that's fine, huh? You know him? We met once. Well, Mr. Lowe, I'm ready. You're ready? <laughs> well, that's good. There's plenty to do here. Sasan? Yeah? Back to work. Uh, all right. Huh? Well, I'll see you. Thank you. All right. Well, then, what shall I do? Well, let's see now. 
Hmm. <laughs> Buddy, take a rest. Sure. Come on. Hmm. You take these fish and carry them upstairs. Sure. Downstairs again. <laughs> hey, you, Joe. How's it going? Mr. Chen is very nice, and the other workers are nice guys. Oh. Well, just look out for the foreman. He's a pig. That man will do anything. He doesn't bother me. He's difficult. But I can take care of myself. <laughs> Hope so. But you be careful. Sure, I will. You know what? Mm -hmm. He came round yesterday. He wants to marry me, but I can't stand it. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, your ma. What did she say? Yeah, what did she say? She likes him. <laughs> <laughs> hey, oh dear. Hey, look. Hey, hey. Huh? I'll see you. Bye. 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 Now I want it understood. Not one of you is to make any move. Unless you have orders from me. Right. right. Lu Yan. Yeah. Those two letters I gave you, they're gone? Sure they have. I sent them myself. Hmm, good. Well, once my friends from Japan and from Thailand have pitched up here. <laughs> Daddy, 
What's wrong? Hey, what's this? You got work. Get on with it. Time I'm on. sick. Sick? Well, is that any of your business? You get back to work. He's real sick. Oh. <laughs> So what if he's sick? This is a factory, not a hospital. You. How can you be like that? Be like what? <laughs> well, you want trouble. Stop! Stop! Hello, so high. You've gone too far. You're the foreman, but you don't respect your men, though. All you do is hassle them. I put up with you for a long time. I hoped you'd snap out of it. But you've gone from bad to worse. You're fired. Out! Wait, wait. Why isn't Chang back yet? Don't know. You go and get the washing in. Right. Sister, he's just coming back. Hey, you girls. I got some really good news for you. Real good news. Well, what's this good news? You don't sound awfully interested, though. Huh. Should I be? <laughs> what is it, then? Hey, you know what? You'll never guess what happened today. The boss has decided to promote your friend, Mr. Chang. He's the foreman now. Oh, is that right? Are you? That's right. The bus decided to give me a try. So you mean you'd like to work for me? Right. I'd be real pleased to. Hmm. How do I know I can trust you? Uh, now look, in the past, you've been nice to me, always been friendly. I'd like a chance to show my appreciation now. Oh, would you? <laughs> Of course. And now that you're back, I thought I'd come and look you up. Listen, if you were to hire me, I'd do anything you say, without question. <laughs> right. Well, in due course, there is something I shall want you to do. <laughs> and does it involve Mr. Chen? Oh? Well, you know that? <laughs> it's just a guess. Oh. Well, then, what do you guess I should do? Do you have any ideas? Uh, I do have an idea. Right. Let's hear it, then. Uh. Hmm. A good idea. Now what? Mm -hmm. You've got to try and help me convince those girls. Hey, but of course. But still, after that, you be nice to me. Hmm? Mm -hmm. <laughs> be nice to you? Mm -hmm. I think I should let Mr. Kang do that personally. Oh, uh, but why? <laughs> Hey, Tahina! Oh, it was great. It was worth it. Was good. Yeah. Lots of oh, chickens could pass in the market. Uh -huh. Come on, let's weigh it. Oh, that's heavy. Oh. We should get a good price for this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hello, how are you? <laughs> Why is he here? Where are the others? Lo Su Hai, you were fired by the factory. Why are you here? <laughs> That's right. 
I was fired, so I got another job. I represent somebody who's interested in buying the fish from you. And what's more, <laughs> we're offering a good price. Wait, wait. Anyway, let's go. Yeah, mm. let's go. Uh, uh, mm. Hey, hey, hey. Let's discuss it first. Hey, hang on. Let's discuss it, huh? Hey, hold it. Hold it. Uh, what? <laughs> the trouble with you girls is that you're so stupid. I came here all polite and I offered to buy your catches. But you won't even listen to me. Now you leave me no option. Huh? 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 <laughs> Miss, uh, all right. Huh, go to hell! All the fish is spoiled. Huh. Hey, hey. I must say, you fight real good. Real expert. <laughs> you are... My name's Lo Su. Hi. I live here. I have a small business. And those people attacked me, but I've no idea why, though. <laughs> Thank you for helping me, though. Oh, please don't mention it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. 
And you are, um... Oh, my name is Wan Yang, just traveling through. Oh, a traveler. <laughs> well, in that case, you must be my guest. Huh? <laughs> you useless fool, you. Can't even handle some girls. Uh, but, sir, they, they, they had, they had lots of help, though. So then I... Hmm. If Mr. Wan hadn't been there and given you a hand, you probably wouldn't be here now. Uh, it, uh... I hear that your skill in Kung Fu is excellent. <laughs> it's nothing special. Please don't flatter me. Oh. You say that you're just traveling through this place. So where are you heading for? <laughs> Nowhere in particular. I just roam around. So you mean you drop into places and show off your skill? <laughs> well, hardly. I I'm not all that good. Like I said, I just travel around. <laughs> well, if you don't have any objection, I'd like to have you as my friend. <laughs> What Mr. Kang means is that you should stay here. You shut up. Uh, sure. In fact, I do need an assistant. <laughs> right. But still. Ah. Oh. Pay is no problem. You just name your own price. <laughs> <laughs> well, now, I should imagine that you're tired. You go and arrange a nice room for Mr. Wan. Oh? Well, then, I'll leave you. Hmm. Look, boss, there is, uh, there is one thing. And what's that? Uh, Miss Sawa, I think she's getting impatient. Oh? Why didn't you say? Go get her. Uh, yes, yes. Tell me, who is this Kang Ho? A real thug. He used to live here. Dad taught him Kung Fu. But when he found out what he's like, vicious, he refused to teach him and expelled him from the school. And I never thought that he'd come back here. I just have a feeling that he's up to something. I think so too. <laughs> That's very good. <laughs> Master, someone to see you. Oh, right. Welcome, welcome. Sorry that I didn't come down to meet you. <laughs> Mr. Kang. I came as soon as I got your letter. Been a long time. Two years now. I'm sorry to bother you. But I need you. Hope you don't mind. Of course not. After all, we're friends, so I want to help. And if you got problems, then they're my problems too. Thanks a lot. That makes me feel better. I won't forget this. Oh, uh, and your friends? Oh, they're my pupils. Both very good fighters. I thought we might need their help. Ah. Oh. You're welcome. <laughs> Very good fighters. I've heard a lot about this Japanese karate stuff. I'd like to see it, though. Ah, <laughs> a friendly contest. <laughs> Tell me, who are they? Ah, well, these men are my friends from Thailand. I hope that you won't mind. Of course, you don't have to worry. It's good to meet new styles. Chen and Xi, you have a little contest with our Thai friends. Right. Well, whenever you're ready. Hey.
Well, I think that's enough now. You made your point. the funeral affairs and arrange for suitable pension payments. Sir. this time of night. Huh. I have orders to carry out. <laughs> What's going on here today? There's a new manager. He wants to meet us. Manager? How'd that happen? I heard him say, the factory's been sold. What? It's been sold? Mr. Chen said nothing to me, though. And where is Mr. Chen? I've no idea. Hey, you man, you man, your retention. Today, I want you to welcome our new plant manager, Mr. Kang, and he wants to say a few words now. So let's all give him a hand. <laughs> Thank you all. Thanks a lot. Yeah. Well, now, I shall keep this short and sweet. Although the factory has changed owners, I hope that you'll all stay and carry on in your jobs. And further, I hope that you'll work for me as well as you have done in the past. And if you all do, there'll be no problems. With your help, I hope we shall continue to do good business. Thank you, man. Thank you. Thank you. Please. All right. All right! You men, you can all go back and start your day's work now. Chang Chi, I want a word. <laughs> what do you want? You get back to work. <laughs> Listen, as from today, I shall be foreman of this factory again. So, in future, you'll do exactly what I tell you to. 
Well, if that's all, then I'll go now. Hold it. Lozo, hi. Huh? <laughs> uh, did you want me? Mm. Hey, tell me, this handsome young fella here, who's he? Uh, now, look, uh, 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 no, uh, uh, he's no one. He's just a worker. Oh. Uh, well, now, how come I haven't met him? <laughs> He doesn't look like a villager. Is he a stranger here? After all, I'm fairly sure. In fact, quite sure. Any young man as handsome as him, I'd have noticed long ago. Hey, tell me now, just how old are you? That's my business. Well, now you're not a young girl. So then, why are you scared to tell me your age? Sorry, I have to go. Hey! She's the boss's girlfriend. <laughs> Just let him go. <laughs> Something that you wanted. Uh, that's right. Mr. Kang wants to see you. How does Mr. Chang move this and move that? You see, just look at the state of his shoulders. They were broke. <laughs> so, son, it's all right. No, it's not. And as for him tomorrow, you stay here. You won't work. <laughs> it's all right. I'll stand it. And anyway, you and Weiwei, you've stopped fishing. So then, if I stay at home and don't go to work, we can't live. There will be no money. Listen, I know Uncle Chen really disliked Kang. So why would he sell the factory to him? Something's wrong. I'm sure of it. Uh, hey, boss. Is something wrong? The May sisters. Do you know them? Uh, sure, of course. Do you mean that... <laughs> you find a way to get Yee Yee here. <laughs> you like the older one. <laughs> well then, if you really want her, in that case, I can help you. <laughs> but still... But still... Uh... But still? But uh, still what? Uh, uh, she, she does have this boyfriend now, and he... Uh, he can fight pretty good. Hmm. What? What are you saying? Uh, I, I'm sure I can think of something. Hmm. Uh, hey, listen. The boss wants you to go to the jetty. Oh? Right. <laughs> Let's take a rest. Now look, just what are you up to? Ah, nothing at all. It's just so hot.
Listen, you stay here now. I'll go get water, huh? teach him a lesson. He obviously doesn't know me. Go and beat him up. Sir! Sir.
must let me kill him. I have to avenge my two pupils. Yeah, you're right. We have to take revenge. But still, it's not the right time. What do you got in mind? Mr. Dar's instructions. He said to do nothing rash. Well, I have an idea. To grab this guy without fighting and no fuss and no problems. Huh? Well, in that case, then, I'll leave it to you. You see, you're learning quickly. <laughs> <laughs> Understand me. It's my boss. He sent me to apologize to him. There's no need for that. My boss said he'd like you to come to dinner in the restaurant and he can apologize to you with everyone there. There's no need. You can go. Uh, now, look, the boss said you should come. It's quite important. Just get lost. He said no and he means it. Also, the boss told me he'd give you some information about Mr. Chen. What? About Uncle Chen? <laughs> Where's Mr. Chen? Tell me! <laughs> I don't know, but the boss, he does. He'll tell you. Yi, hmm? I'd better go. Now listen. Don't you worry. I'll soon be back here. Please go in. No, Sir Hai. Where's your boss? Uh, uh, well, now, you just wait, and he'll be here very soon now. <laughs> this another of your tricks? Uh, now, look, after what happened the last time, you think I'm fool enough to try again? Oh, no. I hope not. Right. Well, now, uh, uh, have a seat. Here, sir, some tea. Oh, thank you. Well, well now, Mr. Chang, I'm sorry. Been waiting long. Where's Kang? Come on, at least say hello. I came here to meet Kang. He'll be here, but he's busy right now. He sent me to keep you company, just for a while. Don't worry, he'll come. Oh, I'll come back. <laughs> <laughs> What is all this? <laughs> Mr. Chang, nothing to be scared of. I mean, we're not going to hurt you. I'm sorry. I've not come here socially. Excuse me. Let me through. Hold it. Huh. I do know why you've come here. And so then, if you want any news about Mr. Chen, then you'd better stay here. Hmm? Right. Have a drink. Sorry, but I seldom drink. What's this? You're too good to drink with me. I don't mean that. Now tell me, about Mr. Chen. Hey, that'll come later. Right now we have to eat first and drink. 
Right. Well, here's to you. Now, come on. At least take one cup. Uh-huh. Just the one. Chang, just one more drink. Listen, what about Chen? Ah, there's no hurry yet. Before you leave, I'll tell you everything. Hmm? Mm, right. Afterwards, but don't try and trick me. Mm. Sure. so long. I'm getting hungry. Mm -hmm. Let's wait a while. I think he'll be here soon. <laughs> come, come, just one more cup. You can go. Yes. What do you want? Huh. We've got our orders from the boss to finish him off. What? Mr. Kang told me that I shall handle him, though. <laughs> Well, Miss Sow, you must be very naive. Do you think the boss is going to stand by while you get into bed with our friend? <laughs> Listen, what do you do? I'm sorry. It's the boss's orders. Finish him off, right? Right. <coughs> <coughs> huh? Mr. Ron, you. It's an emergency. There's no time to explain. But I'm on your side, and your two sister friends are in danger. You get back. What? What danger? I'm not sure, but you go back. And if they're gone, well, then you make straight for Sunset Beach. Let's go. Mm. Go to bed. Mm. <laughs> well now, girls, how are you? <laughs> no, so high. You're not welcome. <laughs> I'm not here socially. I'm here on the orders of my boss. He said he wants to see you.
Well, boss, I've brought them both here. Oh? <laughs> Blow so high. Uh, yes. <laughs> Stupid fool. What did I tell you? I said that you should invite them to come here. So why are they tied up? Uh, yeah. Well, untie them. Uh, yes. Well, untie them then. Set. <laughs> You're a swine! Damn you! You'll pay for this? Just you wait! <laughs> What's funny? <laughs> Quite soon, when I'm your brother-in-law, I'm gonna have to think of a way of coping with you. Pig! You're just a pig, and a low-class pig at that. What you gonna do with us? <laughs> Ye? You mean you don't know? Huh? You ought to know that I'm quite sincere about you, though. You're a cruel and vicious man. <laughs> Maybe I am. But so what? I mean, I have one advantage over your boyfriend. Because I'm alive. And he isn't now. What? What do you mean? Mr. Kang means that your boyfriend fell right into our trap. He's dead. did kill him. Hey, boss. It's time now. Nearly dawn. Right. We better go, then. And take them along. Let's go. Right. Hey. Jang Chi. That's right. And who are you? Hmm. I'm a Japanese. But as to my name, you needn't know. It doesn't matter. Because hmm. you're not going to live much longer.
Look, this is not going to last much longer. Mr. Dash should be along quite soon. Uh, hey, Buzz, this deal is really big. We should have brought more men here. You really need more protection. You're a fool. We come here to do business, not to fight. Why do we need men? Uh, yeah, I know, but uh, it's just that, I mean, just suppose that... Uh... Suppose? Suppose what? Trying to tell me my business? Ah, now look. Mr. Kang explained to you. Both the parties have agreed in advance that when we make the exchange, both sides will comprise no more of three people. So if we brought any more men here, their side might get worried and tell us there's no deal. But still, buying's easy, selling's hard. Once we actually have got the stuff, how are we going to distribute all that amount? <laughs> you really are stupid. When I ought to get a kilo chin. Did you know why? Well, I just assumed. You just wanted to take over his fish canning factory. And, and I just don't see the connection with this. <laughs> My God, you are dumb. I had to kill Chen to take over the factory here. And now that I'm running it, I'll pack the stuff in some of the cans of fish. And that way, we can smuggle it overseas. Oh, well, now I get it. A great idea. <laughs> hey, boss, they're coming. Right, let's meet them. Have you got the money? this. <laughs> I'll tell you, I'm police from the capital. Huh? What? You're a detective then. Hmm. That's right. I've been after you for a long time, but I never had enough evidence. That's why I arranged for your dumb friend to introduce me, so I'd have a chance to get you red-handed. King Ho, this time I got you. <laughs> Well, no, I don't think so. Because, I mean, you're all alone. Mr. Da, this guy here, we got to make sure that he dies. Mm. You're right there. Hey! Hey! 